All right, guys, we're here. Sensei is working us out. About to see what they're doing now. Took a little break. Sensei, <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to be training us. This is how I train you guys. <laughs> oh, I gotta steal, I gotta steal, I gotta steal. Poor Brian. Oh, man. He's, he's playing 2K. <laughs> <He's not running. laughs> this is what you guys are gonna be doing, by the way, right here. Punch out, punch out. Easy there. Easy there, kill him. So we're doing flies. Out. Go slow so that you're not going like this. <laughs> Just struggling, so go slow up and then slow down. Make sure you always do this with a spot if you're trying to do this at home. So we're getting ready. Like I said, Down I actually didn't say yet. It's raining outside. We don't care. We're gonna run for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes or so. Yeah, all right. 30 or 40 30 minutes. minutes. <laughs> we're gonna go for about 30 or 40 minutes. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. My battery's about to die, and it's uh, raining, so I cannot record while I'm running. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'll record when I get back. Let me get into it. Let me get in. <laughs> what happened to that umbrella? <laughs> it stopped raining. This kid was running with this thing in an umbrella. This hill is kind of nice. Yeah. Any more hills around here, guys? Yeah, the Madonna. Yeah, the eight big ass. Oh, watch out. No, so it's like a five minute walk. Right All right, there. you guys ready? Yep. Oh, oh, man, are you drive. guys ready? Should we, we wait for them? Sensei, show Should we wait for them? Yeah, not that bad. All right, so we found the six yesterday we're talking about. Yeah, guys, we found this. Here's what we're going to be doing. So there's more. No, oh yeah, when you go up the street, there's another set. There's another set. So this is what? Is this 44 or something? No, this no. is like, this is like, this is about like 60 something and it's more. All right, not like, bad. All right, so we're gonna do three sets. Uh, you want this right here? That's all. Three sets. Up, down, up, down. Up, Just down. this one? Yeah. Well, that's not that bad. But no, I like it's not. No. Unless you wanna do two sets. Up, down. And yeah, I'd rather do that. The whole thing, then you're good. I'd rather do that. No, you would not. What do you mean? It's not even that far. It's an extra like step from here to there up there. Yeah, you're right. Let's just do the two sets of the whole thing. Make your way up. <laughs> Alright, so you got one more set. You're going down enough? Damn. Alright. All right. It's actually a really sick view. This junk. What is that? <laughs> Mom, this is my dad. It's almost my dad. All right, so now I'm on my second uh, training session, I guess you'd call it, to uh, the other fan. I just got off at Harvard. Um, it's a little bit away from the other guy. So the thing is, I'm at that outdoor park I usually train with my brother, but I usually go in a car. So it's like a mile from the subway stop. So I'm gonna put the camera away and I'm gonna run there. The things that I do for you guys. Out here at the outdoor park, usually with my brother. Out here, my main man, Sam. Getting dips. <laughs> we're on our last set. A couple months ago, you were, what were you at, 210? Yeah, 210. And now you're at? 175. 175, man. A couple months, put the work in. I love hearing stories like that, man. You put in the grind. And what was the biggest obstacle? Was it the gym or was it the eating? What was, it, what was the biggest obstacle? It was the gym starting to actually work out. Starting to actually work out. Because if you, get, you were in there how many days a week? Four. If you're in there four days a week and you're, you're doing weights, you're working hard, did you go by yourself or with people? Uh, with my friend. With your friend, that's it. I bet you that helps a lot, doesn't it? When you, going by yourself is kind of hard, especially if it's new. If you can find somebody else, find somebody else to train with, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, as soon as I pull the camera, it starts raining really hard. Now we're here waiting for the bus. Probably not a good idea to have my camera out. Um, but it is pouring rain. We haven't even taken the same uh, train back, so. We'll be chilling. Chilling. I cannot believe this soap. So as you can see, I picked up somebody new that I'm going to be training. He also has a friend that um, is going to be joining him, so, um, and joining us. And I will most likely be training them at the outdoor park because I really want to be doing some calisthenic and some body weight exercises 
what they want to build their endurance as well. So we're gonna do some cardio training. I didn't get just to film it all because it was literally downpouring. Um, but we actually, there's like a soccer field right next to where um, that park is and we did um, some sprints and some training. So we're gonna mix in some interval training, some long distance running, some sprints and stuff like that so you get to see their progress. This is my favorite part of doing phase fitness. This is what I love doing. I also, you guys know I teach martial arts. I personal train some of these guys and now I, you know, as I do face fitness transformations um, is why I do it. I love seeing people, you know, being at one point in their life and wanting to change that and then putting the work in, dedicating themselves and then overcoming that challenge, that goal. Also, if you haven't seen it yet already on the face fitness channel, we made an announcement today that we're doing the fan transformation three video. This is the third one where we put it together. Jasper puts together a montage of you know, uh, videos that get sent in to him that has these stories about these kids who had, you know, transformed themselves or started their journey and some of them it's been a little bit longer, but it's just, you know, their personal stories and hopefully can inspire a lot of you out there who are trying to make that same change and also it's a good way to support them. Great, you know, when you're working hard and you're doing that, it's great to have a pat in the back. It's great for people to, you know, see that and acknowledge that your hard work and support you um, and praise you for that. If you are out there right now and you are working hard towards your goal and you're trying to overcome your you know, challenges with your, you know, fitness goals. Don't stop, keep working hard, stay dedicated to the grind, and soon you get the chance to tell your story. That's like one of my things I always tell people, I'm like you wanna work hard enough one day so that you are, you know, excited to or encouraged to tell your story. You don't wanna be that person who, you know, kind of falls off and then doesn't wanna talk about it. You're not excited to tell your story. You're not, you know, happy about your personal story. You wanna like your personal story. You wanna be in love with your personal story to a point where you wanna share it, not brag about it or anything, but it's just, you're so excited about the change that you made and you wanna share with others because you know it's just that amazing. Also just heard, I was talking to Jasper that on Monday, I believe he's gonna be working with somebody out where he's from it also, you know, just personal training some fan who had connected with him. So I'm really excited that we're able to actually work with, you know, some of the fans um, on a weekly basis pretty much and help them personally transform their goals as well. It's just another way to do what we love to do. Thanks for watching the video guys. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.